Welcome to Cousins Outdoors. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, sight my rifle. Here I have a Bushmaster Carbon 15. Um, shoots a 223-556. That type of deal. Uh, I use it for deer hunting. Um, first thing you want to do when sighting in a rifle, you want to make sure you have a nice solid base. You have a backpack and a shirt just to kind of, you know, keep it sturdy. Um, second thing I like to do is take the caps off my scope just because then I don't have to do it when I'm looking down my scope later when I explain to you how I adjust. So uh, right now I got a target out there at 50 yards. We're going to zero it at 50. Shouldn't take long. Now we're going to move it out to 100 make, and then fine tune it. And then uh, maybe take one or two shots at a much further distance for you guys. So uh, let's get it done. Well, it looks like I'm really low on paper, not even quite on the target, just in the white. So, what I do now is uh, I'll look back down the scope and I will aim at, um, I will aim at, you know, the center bowl and I will just move my crosshairs on the dial down to where the bullet impact was. And that should bring it back up to where it's supposed to be. So I'm going to do that now. And uh, we'll see where we end up. Wait up. Okay. It looks like we're just low, so I'm going to do it again. You know, just aim at the center point of the target and move your crosshairs down to where the bullet impact was. Okay, got it adjusted. Take another shot. Alright, looks like we're a little to the left, so we're going to do the same thing, just with the windage. Alright, got her out there at 100 yards now. Let's chuck a couple rounds, see where we're at. Looks like we're way high into the right. Let's take another shot just to see if it wasn't me. <laughs> Looks like it was not me, so we're gonna do the same thing. Gotta chuck a couple more in here first. I'm gonna do the same thing. Look down my sights. I'm gonna aim at the center of the target. I'm gonna move my crosshairs up and to the right. I'm gonna chase that bullet.
Okay, so interestingly, that last group was also up and to the right, so we're going to do this again. Um, not sure why that happened, but let's give it another shot. Center of the target. We're going up and to the right. I'll walk you guys out there and show you uh, my last two shots after I made that last adjustment. Um, real simple. You just uh, take two or three shots, whatever you're most comfortable with. Get a small group. And then uh, get back down on your rifle or shotgun, whatever you're sighting in. Aim at the center of the target and move your crosshairs with the dial, your windage, and your elevation to that group and it should bring you right down to where you're supposed to be and uh, you guys will see that very shortly so now what do you guys think should we move it as far away as we can See how I shoot? I just don't know where to put it. I don't really want to put it uh, well, I could do that. From the corn here behind me all the way down there. Thinking not. Seems kind of rough. I'll go back to the rangefinder, see how far it is. We'll see what happens. Well, I went out there and ranged it. 363 yards. And the Vikings are on today, so I don't feel like doing that today. So, uh, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Uh, give us 10 likes on this video, and I will take a shot at 363 yards. Thanks for watching the video. Catch you guys next time. Welcome back to Cousins Outdoors. We've got our giveaway today. Here's all of our numbers. And here are our uh, people. Sorry if you can't read that. It's my handwriting. So, to make this as random as possible, we're just going to give this a whirl and put it on upside down. Just like that. No clue where the numbers are. And next time you see us, we'll be shooting the arrows. All right, it's giveaway time. Here's our arrows. See if you won. Two down, one to go. Let's go see who our lucky winners are. Tyler, oh, you breaking my arrows? Time to see who our winners are.
chop that off there. All right, what we got? Let's see here. We'll have Christy Roar. Number 18. In our 18. Number 9 would be Todd Kondersky. And number 2, Dustin Vise.